Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll show you um, how to determine the slope of the LM curve. Uh, so this will be a continuation from our previous video where we show uh, how to construct uh, the LM curve. Okay. So let me just uh, try to get the uh, slides. Okay. Okay, so this is what we plan to do. We want to uh, look uh, uh, at the determinants of the slope of the LM curve. In other words, we want to know uh, whether our LM curve will be flatter or steeper. Now, to do this, we're going to basically look at, uh, consider this an, uh, uh, example where there is an increase in income level from Y0 to Y1. Now, how would this basically be, uh, uh, how would this uh, affect uh, our uh, money market? Okay, so from our previous uh, video, I have shown you that an increase uh, in the um, income level will basically uh, shift our money demand curve to the right. Okay, so this is basically because uh, if you recall, uh, our income level positively affect money demand due to transaction and precautionary motive. Okay, while interest rate affect the demand for money negatively due to speculative motive. And we're going to use this simple linear equation to represent uh, our money demand where the, in, the effect of income is positive, uh, plus C1, Y, okay? While uh, interest rate affect money demand negatively, okay? So we're going to use this equation. So what happens when uh, income level has, uh, has gone up, okay? So when there is an increase yeah, in the income level from Y0 to Y1, so our um, simple linear uh, equation for money demand, okay? So we, we started with Y1 here, so this is the original, Okay, money demand equation. As income level has gone up to Y2, so basically we have a new demand for money. Okay, assuming ceteris paribus, all other things remain the same. Okay, all other things remain the same. So now we have uh, the, uh, money demand 2, MD2, which is the new equation for money demand. Okay, will equal to C0 plus C1, Y2 minus C2R. Okay, um, take note, okay, when this happened, there is a big excess of money demand here. Okay, money demand, okay, there is an excess of money demand which is more than uh, the quantity of money being supplied by the central bank. Now, so the money market now is not in equilibrium. So what will happen is that this will create a tremendous pressure on the interest rate where the interest rate will have to adjust and go up. It has to go up so that to make the holding money to be less attractive and to hold uh, holding bonds become more attractive. Now, this process, this adjustment process will continue, okay, until we reach the new equilibrium at R1, okay, at R1, where now we have uh, the new equilibrium where money demand equals to money supply. So, we know that interest rate will have to adjust uh, when income level has, has gone up, okay. Um, so, to uh, measure this uh, change, okay, in, in the money demand due to change in the income level, so basically, we're going to simply take the new value, subtract the old value, right? That's how we measure changes. So what we're going to do is that we're simply going to take MD2, right? So this uh, MD2 okay, minus MD1, okay? So this is basically the change in money demand. So this is what basically what we are doing here. So now as we do this, okay, we have this equation uh, where C0 minus C0 is 0, C1 y2 minus c1 y1 would be basically c1 y2 minus y1 i'm going to simplify that term by simply writing delta y because this represent change and c2r minus c2r would give us zero so basically the change in money demand okay the change in money demand due to change in income will be measured in this term uh, c1 multiply with uh, the change in income level now we can rearrange this okay we can rearrange this so that we know Basically, what is the change in money demand with respect to the change in income level? Now, the change in money demand with respect to change in income level is measured by C1. Uh, by C1, this is basically the income elasticity of money demand. Uh, how sensitive money demand is when income level changes. Now, we know that when this happen, okay, when this happen, uh, uh, basically, there will be excess demand for money. Uh, excess demand for money. Basically, if this is more, um, if uh, the income elasticity is more uh, sensitive, then we're going to have a flatter uh, demand for money curve, isn't it? Uh, 
So let, let's investigate that later. Uh, let's investigate this later. Uh, let's investigate that further. Um, so interest rate will have to go up. But how much does interest rate will have to go up? So now it depends. Uh, it depends on how sensitive money demand is to changes in interest rate. Okay. So interest rate must change. So now, but how, by how much? So now we want to change. We know that interest rate now will have to adjust. So let's just, let me just try to rewrite. So what we have is now MD2 equals to C0 plus C1Y2 minus C2R. Let me just write here R0 because this is the original interest rate over here at R0. Okay, the money market is not in equilibrium and because of that, interest rate will have to change. Okay, interest rate will have to now adjust. So now we have, uh, when interest rate have adjusted, so we're going to have, okay, this new money demand. Let me just write that as MD3. No harm in that. Plus C0, C1, Y2 because now our income remains the same here at, um, sorry, this is Y1. Okay, I'm going to just, uh, I hope you, 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 you know that this is uh, the new income level. It doesn't change. Minus C2, R1. Okay. So now by combining this term, again, we're going to use, okay, this um, um, uh, formula, okay, this formula uh, to, to simplify, okay, our, our calculation. So what we're going to have is that, so MD3 minus MD2 would now give us the change in money demand. The change in money demand will then equals to, we have C0 minus C0, zero will be 0, C1, Y2 minus C1, Y2, 0. Now we have negative C2. Okay, and change in the interest rate where R1 minus R0. And we can rearrange this because now we are interested to actually investigate what would be the change in money demand with respect to the change in interest rate. So now it depends on this negative C2 term. Uh, negative C2 term. What is this negative C2? Negative C2 basically represent the elasticity of money demand with respect to interest rate. In other words, how sensitive money demand is to the change in interest rate. So let's just start with, uh, let's have a look, okay, into these two cases, okay, where uh, in the case of high uh, uh, elasticity and low elasticity, okay. So let me just, let's just have a look into these two cases. So we're going to have, um, first case, we're going to have the low R elasticity, okay, low elasticity. And this one, we're going to have the high Okay, R elasticity. Okay, so what is the meaning of this? This is basically means C2 is big and this one means C2 is low. Okay, so this is our money demand, okay, market. This is, sorry, this is our money market, okay, money market. Okay, the first case, okay, where the, the uh, our uh, money demand, okay, is... Um, here money demand money demand is not sensitive it's not it's not that sensitive to changes okay in interest rate so let me just put the same money supply okay so if this is our money supply which is exogenously determined by the central bank okay um the first case okay first case where the the change okay they are not not really that sensitive okay the change in money demand is not that sensitive so we're going to start with, let's say this is our R0 and this is R0, the corresponding R0. And let's say the interest rate has gone up to R1. Okay, R1. Same distance to R1. So this would be the, let me just put the this point to be the original. Okay, let's say the original, the initial equilibrium. Now, in the case where uh, the money demand is not sensitive to changes in interest rate, that means that when interest rate changes, Okay, by a big amount, money demand will only change by a small amount. Okay, so let's say there is a um, excess supply but of money but very little. Okay, very little. There is a drop, okay, in terms of uh, the um, money demand. So this is our money demand, okay, for a given level of income, okay, Y0. As you can see, the, um, the drop, Okay, the drop in terms of the money demand due to the interest rate is very low. Okay, from this M, okay, this is our equilibrium M, and this is the uh, excess, uh, sorry, uh, shortage, okay, shortage of money demand. Okay, money demand. We have uh, excess money supply here in this case. 
okay in this case so that's why uh, the, the uh, um, uh, this will not be the the new equilibrium uh, some adjustment will have to take place but that's not our focus at the moment we simply want to see how does our money demand curve looks in the case when there is a low interest rate elasticity of money demand okay now the second case now when interest rate go up by the same amount because now the demand for money is very sensitive to changes in interest rate now the change in money demand will be very huge so let's say somewhere here okay somewhere here so this would be um the the, the slope okay the money demand slope for the case of high interest rate elasticity as you can see here okay the uh, excess uh, the the sorry the shortage okay uh, of uh, money demand is is big okay in this case okay shortage of uh, money demand okay where the supply of money is now you know there's there's a big excess of money supply okay at this higher interest rate because um, the population now is very sensitive okay very sensitive uh, to uh, changes in interest rate now we can use this okay uh, by now you need to be uh, already clear on how uh, does the the slope of the money demand uh, curve would look like depending on the different uh, interest rate elasticity okay whether they are uh, sensitive if they are sensitive then the money demand curve would be flatter okay when they are not that sensitive uh, very low elasticity the money demand curve okay would be uh, steeper okay steeper case number one now let's have a look at this um, a change okay this uh, this this change okay uh, we're going to translate this equation uh, this graph okay into um the lm curve okay the lm curve so let's have a look okay now we want to analyze this uh, lm curve okay let's just uh, uh look at this uh, the case of um okay, we'll do the low so the first case here the low uh interest rate elasticity okay of money demand okay from our previous discussion okay we already know that um in the case of um, low interest rate okay we have a very steep okay money demand okay so this is our uh, money supply which is fixed at m bar and this is md okay zero let's say this is the initial uh, situation where our money demand okay this md zero is, is the money demand when income level is at uh, y zero so this is our r zero and this will be reflected okay in the uh, lm curve okay we're gonna have uh, income level on the horizontal axis and interest rate on the vertical axis okay so now what happens when income has gone up okay when income has gone up so this would basically uh, shift okay our um our so let me just put that here so income has gone up okay so this is what we are analyzing from y0 to y1 okay from y0 to y1 so let's say here we already have the first combination between r0 and let's say this is y0 okay y0 now we're going to look at the case when income level has gone up when income level has gone up now due to the uh, transaction and precautionary okay motive of holding money our money demand will also have to go up right so this will shift our money demand to go up to y1 okay now at this new equation okay at this new equation the old interest rate is no longer feasible because there is excess of money demand too much people you know want to hold money and because of that there's a pressure on the interest rate to to go up okay all the way to r1 okay to r1 now we have another okay another uh, combination okay of this uh, interest rate okay of this interest rate uh, and the uh, uh, income level so this is the corresponding r1 and this would be uh, y1 okay as you can see here uh, the change okay the change in 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 income okay we shifted the money demand the excess okay of money demand is relatively smaller compared to the change in in interest rate okay this is this happened because people are not that sensitive to changes in interest rate so now we have these two points which we can combine and as you can see okay in the case of low interest rate elasticity 
the LM curve, okay, the LM curve will also be steeper. Okay, it will be steeper. Now, let's have a look at the second case when we have a high, okay, a high interest rate elasticity, okay, of money demand. Okay, now in this case, okay, in this case, okay, like what we have established uh, previously, okay, the, um, our money demand curve would now be flatter, right? Would be flatter because now people are very sensitive. So let's say this is the original, uh, the initial uh, interest rate equilibrium in the money market. Okay, and we want to basically translate, okay, these combinations, okay, of interest rate and income in the LM curve. Um, so when, um, so this is the corresponding to MD0, Y0, okay. Now, as income level, okay, have changed, okay, have increased, okay, we know that money demand will also go up, okay, money demand will also go up. So, let me just try to make sure the distance, okay, between this, okay, between these two curves are more or less the same, okay, MD, Y1, okay, income has gone up from Y0 to Y1. As you can see, there is a big, okay, huge excess of money demand here. While the new equilibrium interest rate, okay, is smaller uh, relatively compared to this, uh, compared to the change in the, the, the excess uh, in terms of uh, money demand, okay. So, let's just assume that this, uh, the, 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 the change, okay, in the interest rate is the same uh, for these two cases, okay. So, we started with R0 and this is our Y0, but then you can see that when income level has, you know, when uh, income has gone up, Basically, it has going to change by a bigger amount, okay? So, by a bigger amount. So, this is our first combination. The second combination, okay, will be further to the right because now there is an excess, okay? The people are very sensitive uh, to changes in interest rate and this would then translate into why our LM curve is flatter, okay? So, I think um, that's... Um, all for now and um, I hope you are you uh, you know you can understand uh, how does the slope okay of the uh, LM curve is uh, influenced by the uh, interest uh, elasticity of uh, money demand okay so that's all thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh